I'm coming. Well, hello everybody. My name is Brecton, and welcome to another video on Telltale's Walking Dead. Today, we'll be covering the hint that we got at the end of Negan Lives, and why I believe it hints at another game. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video, so you get all the information I have to offer in this video. Before we get into today's video, only 11% of you watching this video right now are actually subscribed. So if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly Walking Dead videos. However, enjoy the video. On July 1st, Robert Kirkman released the comic Negan Lives. For those who don't know, Negan leaves the main comic continuity sometime after All Out War. I can't tell you which issue exactly, I haven't read the comics recently, but he leaves the group and he doesn't return, not even at the end. So this sort of tells the readers of the comics what happens to Negan after he leaves. And then at the end of this comic, Robert Kirkman teases Clementine Lives, the same way he did with Negan Lives at the end of the main comic continuity. Now as we know, Negan Lives went into a comic book series, but I'm going to go through a few reasons why I believe that Clementine Lives does not mean there'll be a comic book series, but a game. Before we get into Clementine Lives, I need to go over the reason why I think that there was always a new game hinted since the end of the final season. And this reason is the introduction of the caravan. If Skybound truly intended on ending the story here, there was no reason to add the caravan as they didn't add anything to the story. From what we know they had no links to the Delta or anybody else, but they served to generate loads of hype around the next game. And we know this worked because there were loads of theories that came out of it that questioned whether they were from Richmond or whether they were from, I think I've seen one on whether they were from Carver's place, from whoever survived out of that. But however, let's get into Clementine Lives. Clementine Lives hints at a new game because at the end of the final season, we already knew that she lived. There was no reason for anyone to state the obvious unless they were trying to generate hype and hint at a new game that was going to come. And now I know there are gonna be some of you that are about to comment that are going to say it could be a comic. Well, yes, it could be. I'm going to go over some reasons why this simply is not feasible for Skybound to do. Now, the reason I believe Clementine Lives hints at a game and not a comic is simply because of the branching story that comes with Telltale Games. Throughout the four seasons of the game, the player has to make a very large amount of choices. Some only affect dialogue, but some affect who's alive and dialogue. And there's two reasons this wouldn't work. One would be is there wouldn't be an outcome to all the choices. It would just all have the same ending, which would be really boring and make players feel like they've wasted their times. And the other reason why this wouldn't work is that Kirkman would have to disregard some choices and choose a canon story so he could make a story that would follow to the end. Now this would be very unpopular as it invalidates certain players' choices. In fact, it would invalidate most players' choices as there aren't too many choices that have an overwhelming majority. So this is why I believe that the only way that Clementine Lives can be resolved is through a game. Well, thank you for watching everybody. If you have enjoyed watching today's video, make sure you like, subscribe and share the video and click on one of the end screen annotations on your screen to take you to another one of my videos. But until next time, my name is Brecton and I'm out. Zip slap.